ahead and get into the uh, new changes that Stream Elements has made to their merch site. One big change that I thought was really cool and I really wanted to share with you. So let's go ahead and switch over to there. So here we are on the Stream Elements main page. I'm just going to shrink that guy down just a little bit because it's, uh, well, it's kind of in the way of other stuff, you know? Uh, so here we are on the mainstream elements page. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm at the merch page right now. So if you're looking at getting merch, this is a great way to do it. It's completely free. Uh, it's print to use. It's print to order. So what they do is they print it when you order it and then they uh, send it to wherever it's going. Uh, so you can see that I've got all kinds of different merch options here. Uh, this is only kind of a plug for my merch store. So to access some of their new stuff, all you have to do is click on the new item. In this case, we are going to make a, let's make a mug. Let's make a mug for this, uh, for this bit. So first of all, when you click on a new item to make, it's going to open up this brand new thing. It used to be in my last video I made about uh, stream elements merch, I when I made it, it just showed you like a little square box. Like you just had a little bit here, this little area to put your graphic on. But now they let you put the graphic on the entire mug, which I think is absolutely sick. Let's move this down a little. I don't like how close that is to the edge. So what you can do is you're gonna go add new layer. You can add a new layer. You go to the uploads. I've created a whole bunch of art assets for my stream merch. So if I want to put one of them on a mug, this is how I would go about doing it. I would say, click this one here. I just created this one. It's just a pattern. Um, I can then res resize it to however I want, whatever size I want it to be, which is pretty radical. I want it to wrap around the whole mug in this case. So I just size it up to the size that I want it to. And that's that for that. Uh, layer. Now when this mug prints out, it's going to have this whole design on it. Um, but if I want to add another layer to it, if I want to add another graphic on top of it, I could go take, let's see, what's a good graphic I can pull from here? Um, let's pull the one that I already have from our daily grind, which is the first mug that I made. I could slap that graphic right on here reshape it, resize it, put it where I want to. And now when this mug prints, when this mug prints out, it's going to have the full wrap around of the pattern plus the uh, Our Daily Grind graphic on it. In fact, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna show you the mug that I already ordered and we'll be able to compare it to this one. So I'm gonna be right back uh, and you know, we'll continue on with this in just a second. One moment. Okay, so I'm back. And so this was the mug that I originally bought and originally created. You can see it's got the Art Daily Grind writing on it, but it's blank for the rest of it because it used to be on Stream Elements merch that you could only put it on the little spot, one spot. But now obviously you can make a whole wraparound item like this. So we're gonna go ahead and save that one. We'll call it uh, the Daily Grind, D-A-I-L-Y, Grind, Mug, uh, with pattern, with pattern. Um, we'll go ahead and save and publish that one. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Um, so I scroll down and now I've got my new mug. So the mug based on its placement will actually, the pattern will be right in the middle of the mug. And you can decide where you want it to sit on the mug. So in this case, I'm actually gonna go back into here. I'm gonna fix this up. Um, and I'm gonna move this closer to the edge. That way, when it prints out, when it ships, it'll have it close to the one side. Excellent. So now I've got the daily grind thing. Hey, Ilham, May 93, how's it going? Uh, thanks for dropping in the stream. We're just going over some of the uh, new things that Stream Elements merch has, has put into their website. 
So I'm just showing how you can design a couple of pieces of merch really, really easily. Let's throw together one more piece of one more piece of merch here. Uh, we'll go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's do. I'm thinking about doing a sweater back, the back of a like. So the thing, the graphic is on the back of the sweater. Or hoodie, hoodie, t-shirt back, t-shirt back. Here we go. Hmm. That's probably either got to be Stardew Valley or Spirit Fair. You know what? I've heard so many great things about Spirit Fair that I just, but I just haven't had the chance to get into it yet. But I've heard so many wonderful things about it. I can see Stardew Valley being a very popular one for a lot of people. So, um, basic t-shirt here. So this is a, yeah, just a basic t-shirt here. So what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna open up this guy. And I just wanna show you uh, the pattern option that they've given you now. So you could take something like, uh, yeah, let's take this one, this Starman show, the Starman one that I've done, Starman picture that I did up with, uh, I threw it together in GIMP with uh, with an old emote of mine. Well, let's take this one instead. Yeah. So what we can do is we can take a pattern, and now, holy mackerel, that's a lot. Um, space it out, and you can see if you look closely, Let's see if I can zoom in here. Hmm. Not really. That doesn't really work. Okay, that's fine. Oh, here we are. Zoom. You would produce a shirt that has a whole bunch of these little uh, hype emotes on it, which is pretty cool. But the spacing is kind of not great. So maybe we can put those a little bit closer together. Now, what if... Here's a fun one to think about. Remove pattern, make it a bit bigger. Yep, it's gonna look like bunk. But what if we then add the brick pattern? Space them a little more, make them nice and big. And as you can see, you can put your item, you can put a, turn any picture you have into a pattern that can then go over a shirt or another item um, some of the items i think aren't quite at the point where they're covering the entire thing as this feature is still in beta but this is just sort of gives you an idea of some of the cool new things you can do with stream elements merch now if i wanted to add something on top of that i could then take this throw this png up here um put it to the front and now with this shirt, you could have, uh, ba, 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 zoom out a little. Now with this shirt, say in red or black, you'd be able to have a pattern in the background of your main graphic. So there's just a little something, something I wanted to show you uh, before we get into the gameplay today.